Hello guys and welcome to day three of preparing our hearts to serve at camp. Today we're going to be talking out of Colossians chapter three and it's a great chapter to read. It's a very clear directive on the life we ought to live if we're striving to serve and to honor God. It puts us all on notice that each of us is an imperfect person redeemed only by Jesus. We should humbly see ourselves through this lens as well as graciously view all others in this way. When I set my mind on the fact that I am a very imperfect person redeemed only through the grace of Jesus Christ, it allows me to see myself in a more realistic way, that I am only a person and that I am working together with other people to try and fulfill a purpose for Jesus Christ. And then it also allows me to see other people in a better way. So when I might be tempted to get offended that somebody is not giving me the respect I'm due or something to that nature, I can look graciously at them and understand that we are all imperfect people who are redeemed and saved only through the grace of Jesus Christ. I am no better. I am no worse. They are no better. They are no worse. We are all redeemed by Jesus, imperfect people who are striving for the same goal of reaching children for Christ. In verse 12, we read, God's chosen people ought to clothe themselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Verse 13 goes on to direct us to forgive others as the Lord forgives us. That's a big one. If we actually stop and think about how God has forgiven us and all of the mess that God has forgiven us the times and times and times again that he has given us other chances. And then we treat people the exact same way by forgiving them the same that God has forgiven us. There's a lot of grace to be given there. All right. So additionally, we are instructed in verse 23 that everything we do needs to be done as if we are working for God himself. When I remember that what I'm doing is not so that I can get praise or so that I can feel good or so that I can acknowledge myself as doing a good job or that I'm not trying to impress some other person, what I'm trying to do is honor the purpose God created me for and that he has placed me in this position for. Am I honoring God? If I'm doing that, then I am in the right mindset and I have the right attitude. Preparing our hearts to serve means letting go of our need for control, refusing to let our lips speak negative words about others, not allowing ourselves to be offended, Whew. rather recognizing we are tools in the hands of God to reach the hurting and the needy, not allowing ourselves to be offended. There's going to be times when you are tired, when you are hot, when you are hungry or thirsty, when someone has drove you crazy, whether it's a camper or another staff member, and you are going to be reaching your limit. But in that moment, I am choosing to not be offended or bothered by this, but I'm choosing to allow the Holy Spirit, the fruits of the Spirit, to take control of me, to have patience and self-control like the Holy Spirit offers us those kinds of things to have love to be gentle in all of these moments when dealing with others regardless of our intentions or theirs we will all face personal disagreements at one point or another our prayer focus leading up to camp needs to be for the fruits of the spirit we should ask god to adjust our attitudes so that we can fulfill the plans that he has for us. God, please help me to see through your eyes. Remember, we've talked about the devil will try to distract us in any way that he can, making us feel like we're not being valued enough, making us feel like what we're saying is not being taken seriously, making us feel like everything is not going the way that we thought it was. Remember that this week is not about us. If we're being honest, this life is not about us. This life is about honoring the purposes that God created us for. But this week especially is not about what I am getting or what I am doing for somebody else. This week is about what God is doing in the lives of young people. And if we work in that mindset, we're going to be amazed not only at what God does in the young people, but what God does in us personally. 
Life is funny, and the week of camp can be a challenge at times. These challenges can cause some of our less than admirable qualities to arise. Only through prayer and a spirit of humility will we be able to overcome these challenges and continue to serve with excellence. Our campers are very aware of our emotions. They live on high alert. Think about children who have been in multiple different homes who at a given moment, someone could walk in and say, hey, you're not really fitting into this house anymore, so we're gonna move you to another family and you're gonna have to readjust. They're kids that are constantly looking and trying to gauge the room to see if they're doing everything right, if they could do anything to change the situation. Is mom or dad, foster mom, foster dad, angry, mad? Is there something that I can do? They put a lot of this on themselves and they are constantly reading your emotions. So making sure that we keep those things in check and it's not always easy for us to do. That's why it's so critical that we ask the Holy Spirit to give us discernment in these moments so that when these things start to come up, we're able to realize, hey, I'm starting to feel this way. Hey, this is starting to affect me and I need to change that. God, please bring that peace that passes understanding in this moment. Please fill me with joy. Please give me patience in this moment so that I can be everything that you desire for me to be to this young person that I am serving. So only through prayer and a spirit of humility will we be able to overcome these challenges and continue to serve with excellence. Our campers are very aware of our emotions. They have lived a life on high alert, reading the people around them. When we get anxious or frustrated, it has an effect on our kids. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you discernment so you can avoid these situations. Remember that your goal is to bring hope, peace, joy, and love to young people whose world is the exact opposite of all of those things. So we're trying to bring hope, and they live in a hopeless world. We're trying to bring peace, they live in a world filled with chaos. We're trying to bring joy, they live in a world filled with sorrow. We're trying to bring love, they live in a world filled with bitterness and hate. We're trying to break all of those things and let these kids see, at least for a week, what it's like to have the power of the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ in their lives. And through our example, the way that we live, the way that we respond, even in difficult situations or with difficult people, how we respond gives a great testimony to these young people on how they are loved and how they should act also towards others in a hard situations. Colossians 3.2 says, Set your mind on the things above and not on earthly things. If we set our minds on the fact that we are working for the Lord, that our goal is to serve him, then we will be able to do everything that God has called us to do and has asked us to do. So don't allow yourself to get offended, bothered, overwhelmed this week, but pray and ask the Holy Spirit to fill you this week so that you can do amazing things to the maximum of your capacity God says in the Bible, and this is a cool verse, I will do more than you have ever thought or imagined. You may think that you're going to accomplish something in this week, or you may hope that you're going to accomplish something in this week. God says, I'm going to take your yes to these kids and to this ministry, and I'm not going to only do what you thought I was going to do, but I'm going to do amazing things that you never even dreamed of before. Be ready and be prepared for the awesomeness that God does in you this week. You guys are hope dealers. I'm so proud of you and I am praying for you. Have an amazing day. God, we come to you right now and we pray, Lord God, that you would fill us with peace, that you would fill us with humility, that you would fill us with patience, and Lord, that the, that the Holy Spirit would just be all-encompassing, that he would transform our minds, and Lord God, that we would live in your mindset, that we would have discernment and wisdom in all of the situations that would happen at the week of camp. And not only that, but throughout our lives, Lord, this is not just about this week of camp, but it's about us honoring and fulfilling your purpose every single day. And in order to do that, we need to be filled with you. So Lord, bring us to a place where we are fully surrendered and allowing you to do what you desire in us and allowing you to be in control of our personality and our attitude. 
And we praise you and thank you for creating us and entrusting us. In Jesus' name, amen.